Ermagerd. So I know I've already put out a video about the brand new Merit Signature Shades, but I put that video out I think by the time this goes up, it will have been like a week and a half ago by now. And I learned so much more about the product. I actually have two of the shades in that I did not have for my previous video. And I want to do side-by-side -side comparisons of swatches on my arm for you guys. So this video is truly going to be a comprehensive review of the brand new Merit Signature Lips, which are a soft matte formula. Their other shades were a satin formula. If you don't know, word of the wise, because it's a bomb ass deal. I have my own collection with Merit. It's my top six favorite products and it is always 15% off. Best deal on the site. And because I have that, they were kind enough to send over the entirety of the new shades. I think this is going to be a review that's worth your while because I have been living with these lipsticks for a while now. I've been trying them out. If you watched my other video, you know that I am absolutely in love with the shade range. And you're probably wondering like, Kate, how did you not realize in your first video that it wasn't exactly the same formula? I didn't do any side-by-side -side comparisons because I honestly didn't know there was going to be a difference in the formula that wasn't conveyed to me. So when I put these on, this brand new formula, it glides on exactly like the OG formula, which is crazy because it's a matte. I just didn't clock the difference because they both go on so smoothly and so comfortably and so glidey. So that's why I really want to show you guys side-by-side -side swatches of some of the OG shades next to the brand new shades so you can really see the difference. This is my favorite like proper lipstick formula, period. The highlighted ingredients in it are hyaluronic acid, which visibly plump the lips and lock in moisture for long lasting hydration and sesame seed extract that smooth and condition lips for all day comfort. Okay guys here they are all eight shades starting over here on the right with the shade classic. This is described as a neutral or I believe a neutral pink. This is Antibes which is a soft peach. This is Maison, which is a mauve. This is the shade Court. This is one of the shades that I didn't have in the last video I made. Court is described as a warm brick. This is the shade Sunday. This makes my eyes pop. I mean, they kind of all make my eyes pop out of my head, but I really love Sunday for a bright pink. This is the shade Power, which is just a classic cool tone red. In contrast, we have Vermilion, which is a warm red. And then we have the shade Equestrian on the end, which is a warm brick brown. I've honestly never seen a lipstick shade range swatch this gorgeously. Like this is literal eye candy. So now I'm going to show you every single shade swatched on my lips. <laughs>
so they're all the swatches. I kept on the last one, Equestrian, and I blotted it out so you could kind of see what that looks like as well. Yeah, so this is just that blotted out with just like a little bit of this lip mask just to kind of rehydrate my lips because that was a lot of lipsticks to put on. But look at how beautiful and natural you can make that shade Equestrian. Like that's the deepest brown obviously in the entire collection and you can shear it out or wear it full pigments so i really want to drive that point home because obviously in those swatches i was showing you like built up to its fullest potential its fullest pigment but just know that all of these can be pared down just like equestrian can like all of them can be blotted out made into like a more approachable popsicle lip these also stain beautifully i'm always going to rehydrate my lips at some point so i'm personally not a person who's going to be wearing a matte the entire day and expecting it to not change or budge. I will say that these do fade really beautifully and naturally. These are the most comfortable that a matte gets for me. So now I'm going to do some swatch comparisons on my arms so you guys can see how the new shades look next to the older shades so you can see the difference between formulas. While we're here with Equestrian on my lips, I'm going to go ahead and compare Equestrian to the OG shade 1990. On my right, we have the OG shade 1990, which is a satin. And on my left, we have Equestrian, which is the new shade, and this is the matte. So that's the shade 1990 right there. You can see that it's definitely more sheer than the newer shades, and it's not quite as pigmented. Next to the shade Equestrian, you can see that swatches with a lot more pigment, and 1990 is cooler, and Equestrian is definitely like way, way warmer. It's almost kind of like giving terracotta. This shade comparison has been requested by several people. I'm going to be swatching the OG shade Aperitif. Now, this is not actually a part of the collection right now. This was a special edition shade, and I know a lot of people want them to re-release this. It is gorgeous. So here is the shade Aperitif. And again, that is the satin formula. And I'm going to show you what the shade Vermilion looks like next to it. That is Vermilion. So once again, a lot more pigmented. Obviously doesn't have the same sheen that the uh, shade Aperitif has. And now I'm going to take two of, I think, what are the most beloved shades of the original shades, which are Baby and Millennial. So here is the shade Millennial. And this is... Kind of what I thought was a neutral pink in the OG collection. I really, really love this pink. This is definitely my favorite shade of the OG shades. So this is the shade Millennial, and I'm going to swatch that next to the shade Classic, which is kind of a more like peachy pink, I think. And there is the shade Classic right next to Millennial. That's actually a pretty good shade comparison as well. I'm gonna swatch the shade Baby. I like the shade Baby. I think it's really beautiful. If I'm wearing the wrong shades on the rest of my face, this can kind of wash me out and make me look a little like corpse-ish. So this is the shade Baby next to the shade Classic, which is matte and then next to the shade Millennial, which is Satin. I love the formula, and you know, if you've watched my channel for any amount of time, you know that I'm not really a matte lipstick person. That's definitely not my go-to. But like I said, these are such a comfortable matte, and I really feel like they're so versatile. And you know, I'm speaking for myself here, which is all I can ever do, but this shade range is the tits. Everything I talked about here today, the new Merit shades, as well as my Merit collection, are all gonna be linked down below in my description box. Those are affiliate links, and if you happen to shop through my links, it really helps support my channel, so I thank you in advance. I wanna know in the comments what shade made y'all's eyes pop out of your heads. Oh man, if I had to pick my favorites, oh my God. Um, I don't know, they're all so gorgeous in their own right. Anyway, thank you guys so much for joining me. I hope this was helpful. You guys are the best. Please stay safe out there and cheers till next time. Oh. <laughs>